Hello, it's uh, it's good to be back. Well, uh, it's 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 actually All Saints Day today, but we we're gonna have we're gonna be all over All Saints Day for uh, this weekend at church. So the readings I'm using are those for uh, just for today, and the reading is from St Paul's letter to Titus. And it's chapter three of that. Remind everyone to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarrelling, to be gentle, to show every curiosity to everyone. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, despicable, hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Saviour appeared, he saved us not because of any good works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit he poured out on us richly, through Jesus Christ our Saviour, so that, having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. The saying is sure. I desire that you insist on these things, so that those who have come to believe in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. These things are excellent and profitable to everyone. But avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions and quarrels about the law, for they are unprofitable and worthless. After a first and second admonition, have nothing more to do with anyone who causes division, since you know that such a person is perverted and sinful, being self-condemned. When I send Artemis to you, or Tychius, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Make every effort to send Zenas the lawyer and Apollos on their way, and see that they lack nothing. And let people learn to devote themselves to good works, in order to meet urgent needs, so that they may not be unproductive. All who are with me send greetings to you. Greet those who love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. We thank God for his word to us in that scripture. Isn't that a, a beautiful, isn't that a beautiful letter? I really, it reads to me uh, as, as though Paul is writing as an older man. Um, and a lot of the fire of his early journeys has, has, has burnt low. Uh, and he's just, he's really just crystallising in that letter to a small community. He's just crystallising that that his understandings in that lovely letter and I think it's it's beautiful I mean there's the three the three paragraphs so there's the first one about uh, being justified by faith um, the second one second paragraph is about doing good works because we're justified and to just not mess around with stupid arguments and things like that. And then finally that lovely bit, uh, the lovely last paragraph about um, uh, about the exchange of people between the two two groups. And, I, I, and super, absolutely super letter. What do we take from that? Well, I, I, I mean, I think it is... Um, I think it's 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 to me at any rate it is it is clear that I mean and I'll say it in two different ways. One is that um, Paul is very clear about what it means to be a Christian. It doesn't mean setting yourself up against the established order necessarily, but to do good things. Be, 
be nice. <laughs> as, as we say to our grandchildren, be nice to each other. Be friendly. And then allow the good things that God has done in each of us to flow out to other people. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Oh, and don't get caught up in stupid arguments. Um, I probably should have that pinned onto the board above my desk. The other thing that it brings home to me is something that is is appropriate to this time of year as we move into All Saints Tide. We've just come through Bible Sunday and Bible Sunday reminds us beyond everything else that the scriptures contain what we need to help make us into the people that we were created to be. And so to the prayer, that for last Sunday, but it's just beautiful. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them, to read, mark, learn and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So thank you for listening. Till we meet again, either online or face to face, maybe even in church. God bless.